No one gets diseases. Disease or any state of health, good or bad, is just a natural consequence of certain dietary and lifestyle choices. There are no rewards and punishments in nature. They are only consequences. Hi, this is Marina from Health Glows, a certified pro vegan diet and healthy lifestyle coach. In today's video, you will learn how to recognize the very symptoms that are indication that a water fast is needed. By a water fast, I mean a therapy in which you allow your whole digestive system, but also your body and your mind to go into a deep state of resting. This video is one of the videos in my whole series on water fasting. In my previous videos from this series, you learned the following. Water fasting, when done properly under expert supervision in a safe manner, is the most powerful healing therapy. Water fasting is the most natural healing method that is used by all animal species in nature when they are injured or poisoned. The whole point of water fasting is not just not eating, but rather getting your whole body and mind into a deep state of resting for a prolonged period of time so that your body can go into a deep detoxification. That deep detoxification mode is the actual healing of your body. The whole point of water fast is to maintain the results by choosing healthy dietary and lifestyle choices after your fast so that a therapy like a water fast is not needed for you anymore. In contrast to this, there are people who are using the term water fast to hide their vicious cycle of overeating and not eating. Or there are people who are using the term water fasting to hide, to mask their anorexic behavior. And all of that is not the point of the water fast. Live and eat in such a way that water fasting as a therapy is not needed. However, most people today would highly benefit to do a supervised water fast in a safe and professional manner at least once in their lives. This was a little recap from everything that you learned in my previous videos from this water fasting series. I highly recommend that you watch all of those videos to get a detailed education on this intriguing topic. And now let's learn how to recognize the very symptoms that indicate that a water fast is needed. First, let's remind ourselves of some very important definitions that you have already learned on my YouTube channel, Health Glows. Definition number one, disease, a normal reaction of the body to abnormal conditions. Definition number two, health, a normal reaction of the body to normal conditions. Definition number three, toxemia, the one and the same cause of all diseases. Toxemia is that state of the body when the body is oversaturated with toxins. Definition number four, symptoms. The fight of the body to get the toxins out of the body and restore itself into the state of health. Definition number five, healing. A biological process that is conducted and run always by and solely by the body. Nice, you know all these definitions. I am so proud of you. Having all these definitions on mind, we can hopefully conclude together the following. No one gets diseases. Disease or any state of health, good or bad, is just a natural consequence of certain dietary and lifestyle choices. There are no rewards and punishments in nature. They are only consequences. All diseases, according to their length and intensity, can be divided into acute diseases and chronic diseases. Acute diseases are those that are characterized by intense yet typically short-lived symptoms. Chronic diseases are the states of the body 
that the body gets into when those acute symptoms have been neglected for a way too long. And then they turn together into a chronic state, into a chronic disease. In the same manner, we can divide a water fast according to its length into a short water fast and long water fast. I guess you already know what I'm about to say. That's right. Acute diseases are indication that a short water fast is needed. And on the other hand, a chronic disease, a chronic state of the body, is indication that a long fast is needed. Acute diseases are characterized by acute symptoms. And acute symptoms are actually a good sign. Do you know why? Because they show that the body has enough vital energy to fight against the toxins. The examples of acute symptoms are intense and sudden fever, coughing, sneezing, feeling tired, feeling weak. When they come suddenly, quote unquote suddenly, and they are very intense, they are usually short-lived. And those are the signs that the body has enough vital energy to fight the toxins and push them out of the body. So they are a good sign in a way. In chronic conditions, we usually don't see those acute symptoms, intense, intense fight of the body. And that's a bad sign because it shows that the body has been so much depleted of its vital energy that the body doesn't even have strength to fight the toxins. Just think about this. Why do children typically have more often these acute symptoms than the adults because children typically have more vital energies their bodies are cleaner thus they have more vital energy and their bodies with all that vital energy are strong enough to kick the toxins out of their bodies very strongly in a very intense way unlike adults who usually don't have so much vital energy and then they go into chronic diseases. But please hear me out when I say this. It is not that a body is depleted of vital energy just because the body is growing up, just because the time is passing. No. Anyone can keep a high level of vital energy throughout their lives just by keeping the inners of their bodies clean through clean diet and through clean lifestyle habits. The more toxins there are in the body, the less vital energy there is in the body. And vice versa is true. The cleaner the body is, the more vital energy it has. What does this all mean in a practical sense? If you wake up one day and all of a sudden, you have a fever, you feel very tired, you feel weak, you are coughing, you have a stomach ache, you have a headache. That is your body telling you, we are fighting here. Stay in bed, horizontal position, your eyes are closed, your sleeping mask uh, over your eyes, no internet, no phone, no social media, because all of those internet activities are depleting your body of your vital energy. You're just resting, horizontal position, in your bed, in a dark room, yet your window is open so that you get fresh air and you're sipping water throughout your short water fast. Please remember that water fast is not just about resting your digestive system, but rather resting the whole of your body and your mind. And by doing that, by doing nothing, but just resting, you're getting out of your body's way. You are allowing your body to do the fight against the toxins. Sipping water is very important because fasting is resting plus hydration. And how long? Until all the symptoms are cleared out. 
Typically, a short fast is somewhere between one and three days, and typically a short fast is safe to do without any supervision because your body doesn't even get a chance to go into a deep ketosis. On the first day, your body is consuming glucose from your bloodstream, and on the second and on the third day, your blood, your body is consuming glycogen from your liver and your muscles. So you don't even go into ketosis, and thus it is typically safe to do a short fast when you have acute symptoms on your own. Having said this, please know that I give no advice on my YouTube channel, Hello Glows, and I'm not telling you what to do, so I'm just sharing my knowledge about water fasting as well as my personal and professional experience on this intriguing topic. So that would be the case of acute diseases and short fasts. Now let's move on to chronic diseases, which are indication for a prolonged water fast. And when I say a prolonged water fast or a long water fast, I mean a fast of about three weeks plus seven to 10 days of introduction, of safe and correct introduction of both food and a physical activity. And that is a water fast, a supervised water fast. Supervised water fast means that you get yourself out from your daily activities, from your daily responsibilities. You forget about your to-do list. You detach yourself from all the stress in your daily life. You go to a place where you have ideal conditions for your deep resting. You go to a place where you get emotional support. You go to a place where you are safe because someone else who is experienced in running therapies, which are called supervised water fast, is taking care of your safety. You come to a place where you get education so that you learn more about water fasting, about diet and about lifestyle and physical activity. So to know how to proceed on after your water fast to keep your results long term. And you come to a place where you get uh, expert supervision daily so you know you are safe and thus your mind can be carefree and allow your body to go into a deep state of rest and you come to a place where you get proper introduction of food and physical activity after your water fast. All of these services and conditions you can get at our next supervised water fast. If you would like to give your body a chance to go into a deep state of self-healing, I am warmly inviting you to fill out the registration form through the link in the description of this video for our next supervised water fast. The supervisor at our next supervised water fast will take a look into your registration form and we will get back to you as soon as possible with his honest and professional opinion on whether this therapy, a supervised water fast, would be first and foremost a safe therapy for your current state of health and second of all, would it be effective for you? Would you get the results that you are hoping for from this therapy? If you get to be approved for our next supervised water fast, please know that you are more than welcome and we will do our best so that you get the best conditions for your deep detoxification, for your self-healing process. I hope that this video was beneficial to you. Please let me know in the comments below this video. Do you recognize some of these symptoms that are indication that a water fast is needed in yourself or perhaps someone whom you know? Please let us know in the comments below this video. If this video was beneficial to you, please give it some love and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell icon beside the subscription button so that you can enjoy all the upcoming videos on my YouTube channel, Health Clothes. In my upcoming videos, you will learn how to eat a raw vegan diet long-term successfully and how to live in such a way that you give your body the best conditions for health. Once again, I hope that this video was beneficial to you and until the next time, please keep glowing. Bye bye. Check out all the details about our upcoming supervised water fast through the link in the description of this video.